All right, so one of my buddies, well, not so much one of my friends, but a person that we were kind of in the group we were hanging out with a little bit back in, I want to say it was 2020. We were in Fort Pierce area. And just like most areas of US-1, there's a lot of prostitutes up and down the road. So he, he mentions that, in, in the, so not to the whole group, but just like, just mentions it, and we all just told all of us to hear this, that, hey, don't mess around with the prostitutes, it's fake sex. And I thought to myself, wait a minute. I didn't want to, I didn't want to become a part of the conversation, because it's, 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 going, to, it's going to go nowhere anyway. But, um... Fake sex, I've always seen it as sex with a condom. That's not sex. You're having sex with a condom, not with a person. The whole point of enjoying that woman is being inside of her and, and, and enjoying the oneness. People can be in a relationship, they call it, or even married, and they have they use a condom. That's not real sex. That's, that's my take on that. So And now the whole prostitute thing is, you can have a, you can be married, and she's a prostitute. She's the, the big thing is you know the wife is a highest paid prostitute. But I mean, my biggest thing is children have children. I mean, well, that's that's when when sex is the most joyous, you know, because you're you're producing more of yourself with that person. You're expanding with the, your your own oneness together. But yeah, that's just my take about the whole prostitution thing being fake sex. I don't think, I mean, as long as you're not wearing a condom, you're all right. Because there's prostitution within in marriages. People say, oh, this is, this is real, real love. 